we're here firstly to celebrate our annual convention. Uh, the African clergy and religious working and residing in the United States, we meet once a year for this annual convention. And it is an opportunity for us to pray together, to relax, uh, to catch up on uh, each other's ministries and apostolates, uh, but also a time for us to be able to look at some of the issues that are pertinent to our ministry here in the United States. Uh, we do recognize that as uh, immigrants from Africa, uh, we do have some uh, challenges specific to us. Our organization has been in existence for a long time, and we're very concerned about visibility at the level of the, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. We don't feel that we're visible enough at that level, and so uh, we're looking for different means and different opportunities that we could try to see how we could enjoy more visibility. Uh, and a lot of priests uh, still feel uh, very disconnected uh, from the American society because of racial tensions, because of cultural differences, uh, and because of all of that, we think that if we're able to engage the bishops in a dialogue on some of the uh, cultural needs and the challenges that uh, some of the African clergy and the religious experience in their dioceses, we think that it is going to help uh, foster the uh, enculturation process for a lot of our brothers and sisters working around the country. Americans have different ways of expressing their faith. Africans or Nigeria has uh, different ways of expressing their own faith. It's uh, how do we bring them together to be able to enrich each other and make the, the, our faith richer than what it is. It's a big challenge. Um, uh, we live here in American society. People go to the church here, they shop here, they do all things here. So uh, I've been encouraging the new immigrants to take a step and realize that this is their new home. They live here, they work here, they raise children here, they pay taxes here. So they need to take steps and realize that this is home for them because some of them will stay five, six years, they still consider themselves immigrants and then they transition into citizens and are voting. But yet, uh, very often, a number of them don't feel that they are rooted here. And we are trying to encourage them to see this as their new home, especially as their children grow because for their children, for many of them, this is their home. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen.